What is going on guys? Fabrizio Van Marciano here from FabrizioVanMarciano.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome to another WordPress video tutorial, guys. It's been a while since I've created a video, so I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, anyhow, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a beautiful, responsive pricing table from scratch using Bricks Builder for WordPress. So let's dive straight onto the screen and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's dive right into this. Now, I'm already inside of my WordPress admin area for my holiday villa booking website. This is a website project on my local computer. And if you're at all interested in learning how to design a beautiful holiday villa property booking website from scratch, then check out my Bricks Builder complete website design video course. I will have a link in the description if you're interested. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna design a beautiful, modern, responsive pricing table from scratch uh, using Bricks Builder. This is completely kind of separate from the Holiday Villa booking website. And so let me just show you a quick uh, preview of the pricing table we're gonna be creating inside of Bricks. So very simple layout, clean, minimal, and we have three columns with a nice heading, and then the center column is our best value or recommended offer. Now, obviously this is just made up. Uh, we have a starter plan, growth and an enterprise plan. So yeah, we're gonna be building this inside of Bricks. So let's go back to our WordPress admin here. So I'm already inside of Bricks and templates here. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and click on add new, and then I'm gonna give this template a name. So I'm just gonna call it pricing table. And then over here on template type, I'm going to select section. Okay, and then we can just click on publish. Now we're ready to edit with bricks. All right, so now that we're inside of the editor, what we're gonna do first, I think, is probably just add all of the components that we need for our pricing table. So basically just create the layout and then we'll focus on styling later on in the video. So let's go back and have a quick look at our layout here. So essentially we have three columns and I guess we could have two separate divs inside of each column. I'm just thinking, and then this could be a nested div, and then this could be another sort of nested div with three additional divs inside. Yeah, I'm just thinking in my head how we can do this. Okay, so there is no strategy or plan with this tutorial. We're just gonna go with the flow. All right, so let's go back. And the first thing I'm gonna do is drop in a section. So let's come up here to add elements and section. And let's give this a class now Again, I don't have a list of classes nearby that I can just pick from. Usually I kind of organize my classes in a list before I start a project like this, but it really doesn't matter in this instance. So I'm going to give this a class and this is going to be, if I can just select it here, let's go for something very simple, pricing table. And then we could have section or SEC for section, okay? And this is going to be pricing table, C-O-N-T for container. All right, so let's go back and have a look. Yep, and so inside of this container, we're gonna drop in three more blocks. One, two, three, okay. And just thinking, right, okay. So let's get rid of one of these blocks here. Delete. Remember, it's right click to delete on an element inside of the structure panel here. So we have two blocks to begin with. Actually, let's delete another block. We're gonna try and save some time here. So this block here, I'm gonna give a class and this is going to be pricing table column W for white. Okay, at class. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to duplicate this one here. So we have two blocks. So let's add another one in here now. And then this one, which is the one without the class, I'm going to drag to the center. This will make more sense when we actually reset the direction for this container. So this is the center block. So I'm going to give this a class of... So this one was pricing table column W. So let's go for pricing table, C-O-L, B for blue. Okay, add class. Let's go to the container, the pricing table container, and let's go down here to direction and set this to horizontal. Perfecto. Okay, so let's go back and have a quick look at what we have here. So what we need to do now is add another container inside each of these. So I'm just thinking, how can we do this? So yeah, let's select the first one and add a container or a block rather. And then, oh, I know what we need to do. We need to go back to the outer block. Let's select the class. This is the white container. And let's go to style and layout and get rid of the padding because I've added some padding in here inside of the theme styles. Now this is for the Holiday Villa booking website project, of course, but I don't need it here in this instance. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Oops, zero and then apply all. Okay. So 
we probably need to remove the padding inside of the container as well, the pricing table container. So zero, apply all. Here we go, that's looking much better. So let's go back to the first one, if we can. So this was, yeah, this one here. I'm gonna give this a class and that is going to be, let me just think what we can use here. So this is gonna be the pricing table. Let's go for a heading container. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this one as well. Oh, I've deleted it, that's not right. So let me just go back and undo this. Here we go. So let's duplicate it, okay? And then duplicate it again. Now I'm gonna drag one of each into the other blocks. You know what we need to do? We need to rename some of these, otherwise we're gonna get a little lost here. So let's start with this section, which is the pricing section. This here is the pricing container. This is the left column. And let's put W there for white. And this is the center column, B for blue. And this is the other column, which is white, and that's right. All right, what we also need to do, let's go back to the center column here. We also need to remove the padding inside of this block, pricing table, column B. So style, layout, zero. Click on this little link to apply all. And yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's go back to the pricing container and we have the class selected here. Let's go to content. The direction is set to horizontal, which is fine. Just wanted to check that. So let's go back to this block that we just added here. Now this is the pricing table heading container and um, we've duplicated this. Oh yeah, we need to rename this as well. So this is the heading block. All right, okay, so that looks good. Now inside here, I'm going to add a heading. And uh, then, actually before we duplicate this, let's go back to our heading block here. We have it selected. What I'm gonna do is select the class, go to content, come down to align cross axis and select center and that should apply to all these other ones as well. Okay, so let's give this heading a class. This is gonna be pricing table double underscore main heading. Actually, let's not use main heading, that's silly. Let's use heading, I don't know, H2. Okay, so now we can duplicate this. Let me just duplicate it here and again. And then I'm gonna drag one of each inside of the other. Oh, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. Yeah, it needs to be inside of this block. Can we do this? Yeah, so that's fine. And then this one obviously needs to go inside of this one here. Okay, so let's go back to our mock here and we have starter, enterprise, and growth. Starter, enterprise, and growth. Okay, right here, right here, right here. Let's go back and see what else we need to add. Now, we need another block inside here, I think. Do we really need another block? Let me just minimize everything here, open this up. Pricing table, container. So let's select the first one first. Yeah, let's add another block inside of this one. So add block. So this is gonna be the content block. Okay, and let's give this a class as well. So this is gonna be pricing table cont block. Uh, let's just go content block actually. Add class. Okay, so what we need to do now is duplicate this as well. And again, and then drag. Let me just open these up. Yeah, one of each inside here. Okay, and this one can go in here. I think we probably created one too many here, did we? No, nope, that's fine. All right, so we now have our content blocks as well. Okay, so let's go back to our mock here. So we have a lot of things going on, but let's just take one thing at a time here. So I'm gonna drop in another text element inside of this block. So let's select the first one here, add, let's go for heading, and then let's give this a class as well. So let's open this up. And we're gonna rename this one sub, sub, sub heading description or title. It could be title. Heading title, that makes no sense. Uh, what is going on here? Okay, here we go. That was a lot of work. Okay, so subheading. And then I'm going to give this a class as well. So this one was pricing table heading. So let's go for pricing 
table, sub heading. I don't know what I'm going to use for this. I think probably H4. So for the tag, let's select H4. That's nice. In fact, we could probably go H5. Let's go for H5. Ah, that's nice. So now we have H4 up here. So what we can do actually is let's select this class here, come down here, and I think we can rename it. Is it up here? Oh yeah, here we go. Let's rename it here so we have H5. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go back to our pricing table content block here. I want to come down to align cross axis and set everything to the center on this as well. Right, so now we need to duplicate our heading here. We can also hold down Command, Shift, and D to duplicate. So we need three of these, and then we'll drag each one inside of the other box here. We can also do that instead of dragging things here as well. It depends on, you know, how I'm feeling really. Okay, that looks good. So we're not styling anything just yet. We're just adding all the content we need. So now we need to, to add this bit here. So we have our content block. But inside of our content block, we now need to add another block, okay? So <laughs> let's go to Elements and drop in another block. And this one is going to be, what can we call this one? Yeah, let's go Pricing Table Core Block. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what we need to do for this one, I think, yeah, let's just duplicate it for the time being. So Command, Shift, and D, and then let's drag one of each into the other content block, is it? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to style this one just a tiny weeny bit because I want to be able to see it inside here, okay? So I'm gonna select the class and then I'm going to go to style. Let's go to border, add a border and the border is going to be one pixel all around. The style is gonna be solid. Color, I'm gonna use a very subtle gray, I think. So I think I have a, yeah, primary color palette here. I'm going to select my gray and then drop the lightness down. I want to be able to see it. Yeah, that's fine. So I think I can see that border here. Let me just check this. It doesn't have to be spot on. So I'm going to come back up here to my content block here. And then I have the class selected. I'm going to go to content and I'm going to add some gap. So let's add a 20 pixel column gap and see what that does. Oh, maybe a bit more. So let's go for 40 and see what that does. Yeah, 40 will do for now. Okay, so let's change the heading here. So we have, uh, can I copy this actually? I don't know if I can, you know, because this is actually an image, but no, you can. Okay, so start a single core server featuring our revolutionary M-Tech latency. Oh my goodness. What was I thinking when I wrote all this garbage? Okay, so I'm going to add starter single core. Server. Okay, so here we go. I think that's fine. So now what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to copy all of this text here and then paste it inside here to save time. And then this one here as well. And I'm just going to change the, so we have single core. Oh, I think this should be dual core and this should be triple core. Okay, so let's go for dual and then this one can be oh no this is dual silly me and this is triple core if i can spell okay that looks good okay so what we want to do now let's go back to the first one here i want to center the text now what we can do is just select it all here and then select align center no biggie easy peasy Okay, so we need to style this, but not just yet. What we want to do now is add some content inside of our box here, which we called pricing table core block. So first of all, let's change the layout of this. So we have the class selected here. We want to go to direction and set this to horizontal. And hopefully that'll apply to these as well. And we also want to, yeah, align block to the center, I do believe. But we'll check this in a minute when we add some content inside here. So let's start with a heading. And then we want to add a text. So I'm just gonna search for it here, text, basic text, this will do. Okay, so the alignment was fine. What I'm also gonna do is if I select this as well, I wanna come down here for align cross axis and set this to the center as well. Okay, let's go have a quick look at our mock 32, 
threads single core. So this is our number 32. Okay, so where can we add the content here? I can't seem to click on this now. So we have the block selected. It's definitely a post title. That's not what I want. Oh man, I knew I was losing my mind. Why did I even search for post title? Right, heading, that's all I want. Oh man, there it is. It's too early in the morning to be doing this garbage. Oh my crikey. Right, let's drag the heading at the top here. Let's select it now. Okay, so what do we have? 32. <laughs> 32 goes in there. Threads, single core goes in here. Okie dokie. That's fine. So let's go back to the pricing table core block here and... Oh yeah, we want to align main axis to the center like so. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. We don't need this. So also we want to add some gap. So let's scroll up here to column gap and add 20 pixels. Maybe that's too much. Let's try 10. Okay, that's fine. So now we can just duplicate this here and then I'm going to drag one inside of the other box here. And the same for this one. Let's do it again. And again for the description. Okay, so let's go back and see what we have. 32, 96 and 64. So this is 96. This is 64. So obviously this is dual and this is triple. Alrighty then, we're getting there. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have this little bit going on here as well. So I'm going to save because I don't think I've actually done that yet. <laughs> so let's select our pricing table content block and we want to add a heading, not a post heading or title, just a heading. There we go. Let's select this one here. And I think I'm going to use the same class as this one here. So this was H5, subheading H5. So I'm going to just search for it in here, sub heading H5. This is the one. And then I want to select H5. Okay. And this is going to be CDN servers in. That's what it's going to read. CDN servers in. Okay, let's duplicate this and again, and then drag one inside of each of the other content boxes. That's in the wrong place, isn't it? Oh yeah, should be <laughs> glitchy, glitchy, what on earth? Right, so what is going on here? Let's select this one. Oh yeah, where is the content box? Oh yeah, this one is not inside of the content box. Here we go. Right, let's save again. Let's go back and look at our mock. We need another text element in here. So let's select the block. Anyone will do. Add element. Let's go for basic text. And then let's change the text to read the countries. So we have Middle East, Europe, and Asia on this one. Have we? Yeah, Europe, Middle East, and Asia. Europe, Middle East, oops, and Asia. How do we do the and like this? Uh, where are we here? Such small items on the screen here. Is this the and? Yeah, here we go. So that's fine. We haven't given these classes yet. It doesn't matter. Let me just duplicate this and drag this one up here. And then again, and drag this one up here. And this one is multiplanetary, I do believe. Multiplanetary, multiplanetary. And then in brackets, we have what? Earth and Mars. Hokey dokey, and then we have USA, Canada, and Australia. USA, Canada, and Australia. Hope I spelled that right. Yeah. Let's save. And then let's go back and look at what else that we have. So we have another column layout with three little boxes. So let's go back to the first block, the pricing table. We don't actually need to select the class, but never mind. Add block. This is going to have a class of, let me just think. So where are we here? Let's select it first. So I think I'm going to go for pricing table, double underscore, storage. Okay. Oh, that should be storage block, shouldn't it? Add class. Okay, so let's come down here to set the direction to horizontal. And I also want a gap, but let's just add some stuff inside here first. So add another block, and then again, and then again. Okay, so now we can go back to this block here. No, sorry, the outer block. Select the class, go to content, and we want to add a column gap of 20 pixels. So let's also give these classes. So we have a blue one and two white blocks. So 
yeah let's do this one as pricing table blue block okay and this one is going to be pricing table white block what did i do this blue block white block and this can be a white block as well so let's just type in here white block okay so inside of the first one i'm going to add I think I'm just going to duplicate this one here actually. So we haven't given this a class yet. I must remember to give it a class. So let's duplicate it and then drag it inside of this one here, like so. Okay, what I'm going to do is now select this one, this entire block here. Oh, actually, let's rename some of these. So where are we here? Let's start from the top here. So we have this as our subheading. This is our pricing core block. And then we have heading and text, and this is our CDN servers. And this is our basic text. This is our pricing table storage block. So I'm just going to go storage block. And this is, this is what? Uh, storage blue block. 32 terabytes. And then this is a white block. Empty white. I'm just going to copy this here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's just write it in. Alrighty then. So now we can go to the storage block and I can just duplicate this twice. And I'm going to drag each one inside of here if I can without destroying everything. Mm, that hasn't worked. So let's undo this. And oh, what we need to do actually, I need to style these otherwise I'm not going to be able to see them but actually we'll do that in just a minute I want to make sure that I'm dragging this inside of this other block here that's right isn't it and uh, this one can go in here whoa look at that wow that's not great we'll sort that out in a minute it's not a big deal okay so what we can do now is save and continue yeah let's come up here and resize the width of this screen so I'm going to go 1280 and then I'm going to drop the percentage down to, let's go for 50%, and then maybe a bit more than that, 60. Because we're working on a very small screen here, so we can see what's going on here. So for this here, I'm going to come up here and select the pricing container. Let's select the class as well, and let's go to style, layout. Let's set this to 100%. That's better. For now. Yeah, that'll do for now. So now we can just, hopefully, 65%, that's better. Okay, so we can see what is going on here much better. Now let's go back to our mock here. Where were we with this? So, okay. So we need some classes for a few items in here that we didn't give classes to. So let me just select this. This has a class. This doesn't have a class. So this is going to be, what do we name this? Anything particular here? This is number of cores. So pricing, table, core x okay <laughs> okay so now this is going to have the same class core x and then so will this core x now obviously we have this one is slightly different so we'll style that with a different class let's go back and these little descriptions here need a class as well so i'm just going to use something like pricing table text and so will this one let me just check actually yeah this one can have the same class and this one here let's go pricing table text white this one was white as well so let's get rid of this class on this one here so pricing table core x let's add pricing table core x w for white Okay, so let me just go back here and what else do we have? Did we give this a class? Yes, that it has a class and this one here. I think we could use the same as that one here. Just check in this one. That's W, yeah, white, white text. We could have used light text as well. Yeah, so let's use the same as this one. Pricing table, double underscore text for this one. Double underscore text. This is the one. Okay. So let me just go back to the mock. Yeah, this one needs to be white. Yeah, my mistake there. And then what do we have for this? This is H5 
We can make this white as well. Pricing table, subheading. Oops, pricing table, subheading, H5, W for white. And this one is normal, that's fine. Okay, so we have these to do next here. So let's just go back and see what we can do. Right, so let's start with this box here. So this is our pricing table blue block. And what I wanna do inside here, I think, well, first of all, let's select the class and go to content. And we need to align the cross axis to the center for our child elements, which is our little number here. And then I'm going to go to, let's have a look. Style, yep, layout, nope. Background, yes, let's change the color. Now, I don't know what color I'm using here, but I think I'm just gonna use the blue that I already have in here. So let me just select my color palette, which I already created earlier on for this, obviously, particular project. So I'm gonna use this blue here. All right, that's not exactly the same, but it doesn't matter. Hockey dokey. So let's also go back to, yeah, let's close the background now and go to border. I wanna add a border radius. So I'm gonna try six pixels all the way around and then maybe increase it a little bit more. Oops, that's way too much. 10 pixels, that's fine. Okay, that'll do. Let's select the number inside here. Now we actually haven't given this a class, I don't think. Oh no, this is the pricing table core X. We could probably use the same class, but what we could also do is give this a new class and then copy the styles over. But I don't think there's any styles in this one to copy over. So yeah, let's just give this a new class. So this is uh, storage, I imagine. Did we use storage for something else here? I thought I'd used the term storage in one of my classes. Did I just dream that? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here we go. Pricing table storage block. So this can be, uh, where are we? This number can be pricing table storage. Yeah, just storage will do. Or we could do text. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to go to typography and the only thing I'm gonna change in here is the color. So I'm gonna to go to my primary and select white. Now we can give this the same class. Storage, which is this one and then this one is the same. Okay, that looks good. Now what I want to do is just swap these around. So this is three terabytes and it should be on this side. So let me just drag this one across to, um, it's gonna be a bit weird. Okay, so where are we? <laughs> One more. Okay, that's better. And I think those are still here. Okay, so let's add three terabytes in here. So three terabytes. And this one was obviously one terabyte. And then this was two TB. And this one goes to the center. Oh, no, not like that. Undo. Try that again. No, this is not having it, is it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is see if I can find it down here. Here it is. <laughs> Much easier if we do it this way. So this was in the center, yeah. All right, that's fine. Let's save. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now these one here, this is the pricing table white block. It's not really white, it's kind of a grayish. So I'm gonna select the class and go to style and then go to background here. And let's add a nice gray color to this. If I do have one here, I think I might have one. Let me just try this one here. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we also want a border radius. It's the style, minimize the background. Let's go to border. I think, I can't remember what we used for this one. 10 pixels, of course. So border. 10 pixels all the way around. Perfectos. Okay, so we've actually styled something. Brilliant. That looks okay. Um, I think I'm going to increase the line height in here a little bit just to make these a little bit bigger in height. So let's go to typography. Line height, 1.2. Let's increase that. Whoa, too much. Okay, let's try five, nine, seven, six, <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Save, I'm happy with this. I'm not gonna do any more to this. Okay, so I'm going to style 
now actually no i'm not going to style anymore i'm just getting carried away with this let's go back and continue with our layout so we have a pricing block and then a button so let's do that i'm going to select the first one here let's add an element so this is going to be a block and yeah i'm going to give this the class name of pricing table price block add class and then let's go to content direction let's set this to horizontal we also want to align cross axis to the center and probably as well yeah we'll come back to these when we add some elements inside here so what do we want we want actually we could just copy this um no okay let's go back to our block here let's add a heading element so post title no heading we don't want to make that mistake again let's go back to our block here and we also have a text so add element text basic that will do and so let's give this a class this can be pricing table double underscore price at class and this can be per month pricing table double underscore p month <laughs> very creative classes there not okay so let's carry on per month this is let's change the text to per month and I've actually used the caps lock key for that, but I don't really have to. I can just use normal and then set this to uppercase when we come to style it. So in here, we're going to have the price, so which is, if I can remember the key to this. Yeah, here we go. Euros. And then this was 30, I think. Yeah, 30. So let's go back to our block here, the pricing table price block. And we want to, what have we got here? Align cross axis. That is fine. But I also want to align the main axis to the center as well. And let's add a column gap of about 12 pixels yeah now for this one here let me just select the class here i'm going to increase the size actually or actually i'm going to change this to h2 if i can yeah that'll do and this one here also has the class of core x let's change that to h2 also and everything else can stay as it is so okay what i want to do is now duplicate this so hold down command shift and d let me drag each one of these inside here like so let's save and that was 70 and then this was 50 so let's change that to 70 and let's change this one to 50 now i can barely see my screen here because i have my mic right in the way in the center so i'm having to look around my mic to view the screen so sometimes i can't see what i'm typing i need to change my setup really okay so that is all fine here i like this I like this very much. Let's now add our button in here. So let's select the first block, go to add element and type in button. Here we go. Wow, the button's already styled by the looks of it. And I'm gonna change the text in here to read something like order now. <laughs> oh, let's actually come up here and change the text. Order now. Okay, so that is all we need to do. Actually, do we need to give this a class? No, we're not gonna bother. So let's just duplicate this now. And then I'm gonna drag each one into here okay so i think i have everything here but i am going to go over the layout and make sure that everything is how it's supposed to be okay so we have starter enterprise and growth perfect then we have our description here single 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 this is triple yeah it's fine 32 96 <laughs> 32 threads single core this should be threads triple core and this should be oh let's change it here it really doesn't matter all this but we want it to look nice threads dual core okay let's check this cdn cdn countries usa mars and all this is fine here price 30 70 50 order now okay let's save there is something missing here and that is my little best value banner here now how do we do this here so i'm going to select first of all uh, let me just select this block so i know where i am here in the structure panel so i want to select my center column b okay and then i want to add a what do i want to add i have no idea let's try a heading okay and it doesn't matter where this heading is. And then I'm going to give this a class. So let's select the heading and call it pricing table for the class that is corner banner. That'll do. And I'm going to go back now to my original block, the center block, sorry, center column block B. Let's select the class. And we want it to go to style, layout. I'm going to set the 
positioning position from static to relative. Okay, now let's go to our heading element with the class pricing table corner banner uh, layout positioning. Let's set the position to absolute. Now for the position, uh, top is fine, I think. Right, I want to set this to zero. And I also want to change the angle of this. How do we do this? Not here, certainly not here. Let's come out of this and go to transform, I think it is. And I think it's the Z, if I can find it. Oh, rotate Z. Let's try 45 degrees. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we need to go back to the actual, uh, where are we? Let's close this. Let's go to layout again. Yeah, right top. Let's try 20 pixels and then work our way up slowly. Obviously, this would make more sense if we had a background color. So yeah, let's do that. Let's leave that as it is for the time being. I'm going to go back to my column here, center column B with the class pricing table column B. And I'm going to set a background color. We have a gradient color here, <laughs> right? So let's see if we can do this background. I can't remember where we did this. Is it the background color? No, it wasn't the background color. Oh, gradient overlay. Let's try that. Yeah, here we go. Apply to background. Or do we want overlay? Let's try overlay. Let's add two colors here. Add another color. So the first one, let's ignore it for the time being. Let's go to the second one here. I'm going to use the blue for my secondary or primary color palette here, like so. And then for the second one, I think I'm going to go and select the same color and then make it kind of, no, I don't want it like that. Is it like this? Yeah, like that. Let's go to the uh, second color and drop the darkness. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just fiddle around with it until we're happy with it. That's what the case is gonna be here. Yeah, let's leave it as that. That's better. Now let me just go up here, overlay. Yeah, we want background, that's better. Okay, so that looks good, I think. Let's go back to our little corner banner heading here. What we want to do is go to layout once again, come down here, and what were we doing here? Repositioning it, wasn't we? So we need to put it around about there. And then the right, we need to kind of do this. Now we need some padding inside here, otherwise we're not gonna have any room. So I'm going to go to layout, sorry, close the layout, go to, no, we need the layout, sorry. And then let's add, I don't know, 40 pixels of padding to the left and right. Okay, and for the top, let's go to town with like 200 pixels or something like that. Okay, maybe that was too much, let's try 100. Maybe that's still too much, but yeah, we'll sort it out. Let's come down here now and reposition this so the top is fine, I think. Yeah, let's just keep playing with this until we find a good position for this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do, I think, is change the text inside here as well. So let's go to content and change this to, what was it? Best value. That's better. Okay, now let's go back to style. This is quite finicky stuff, but we'll get there. So let's just keep playing with this. I think we're nearly there. Best value. I think I'm going to leave leave it there, yeah. But we'll probably need to reposition some of this. And we will do that. It's no big deal. Okay, so for the background of this, let me go to background. Change the color to black. Do I have a black? Nope. Maybe in my primary color palette, I'll use the gray and then just drop the lightness all the way down. And for the actual... Uh, typography here, I'm going to change the color to white, which was in my primary color palette. Here we go. That's cool. Now, what is going on here? This doesn't look right. What we need to do is go back to this block here. Is this the center one? No, that's not it. So this one here, center column B, we have the class selected. Let's go to layout, what we also need to do. So we have all this positioning fine, but what we want to add is under miscellaneous overflow, we want to add hidden. Perfect. Now we can add some extra padding inside here, top and bottom mainly. So I'm going to come up here to padding. I removed the original padding from here at the beginning, if you remember. So I'm going to just add 40 pixels top and bottom. And I think that works, kind of works. Yeah, maybe a bit more. Really, it's not the bottom we want to focus on here because the bottom can be 40 pixels. The top can be 50 pixels. Okay, that's nice. Let me just save this now. And we need to style some of these elements inside here mainly. So let's start with the heading. So this is pricing table, the same as this one, I think. Oh no, where are we? Oh, actually, let's go to this column as well. Almost forgot. Let's minimize everything here, first of all, because it's a mess. So yeah, the left column 
we want to add the same thing. So let's go 50 at the top and then 40 at the bottom. That's better. Okay, so now we can customize these. So this heading here was pricing table heading two, which is the same as this one, but we need a white for this one, white. So I should have created a separate class for this, but I'm just gonna add an additional class so we can bundle classes in here anyway. So uh, what was this original one? Pricing table double underscore heading two. Pricing table double underscore <laughs> heading, was it H2? Oh my goodness, my memory is absolutely garbage. Was it that? Yeah, it was that. But what have we got here? No, yeah, let's rename that to uh, H2W, add class. I'm gonna remove this one. Okay, so this one is going to be, let's select the class. And the only thing we're gonna change here is the typography color, and that's gonna be white. Um, white, okay. And this here, we have the same class as this once again. So let's select it here. I'm going to edit this, copy it, okay? And then I'm going to remove or clear this and add a new class here. So let's, I'll paste it in here and make this a white one as well. And then let's remove, oh, let me just go back. Oh yeah, we have two, so let me remove this one. And this one, I'm gonna to go to typography as well and change the color to white. And that's perfect. Okay, so we're getting there very slowly here. Let me just go and have a quick look. <laughs> it's not quite the same, but it's okay. All right, so now I want to style this. So this one has the W at the end of the class, so we can just go right ahead and change the color. So when you're doing these for yourself, obviously, just take your time. I'm kind of rushing through this. And um, yeah, just take your time with it. And usually if I was doing this for my own website or one of my clients' website, I would be taking my time rather than rushing through this like I am now. So this has the text W for white. Let's change the color as well in here to, oh, where am I? Okay, primary, white, and then pricing table. I am selecting the classes here, aren't I? And not just, yeah, okay. So this one, we should have added W at the end of it. So let's add a new one. I'm going to edit this, copy, and then I'm going to clear this, clear, paste, and then add a W. And then we can remove the pricing table from this, or do we want that one? Unless we styled it. No, we didn't. Okay, so let's change the text color to white here. And then finally, our pricing per month, select the class. I'm gonna do the same, edit this, copy, clear this, paste our class in here, add a W, and then clear the first one, or remove the first one, select the second one, and then change the color to white. Alrighty then, that's better, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna go back and make sure that I've actually styled all the classes. Nope, this one here, let me just copy this. I didn't actually style the class here. If you notice, I didn't select it, so let's clear this. Clear, let's select the class first and then add the color. Um, we could just paste this in here because I just copied it, didn't I? Okay. And so that's the class selected. The class has been styled on this one. Yeah, for the border. And then these are fine here. Yeah, that's the class. Everything else is fine here. Oops, let me just select this. Yeah, all fine. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm going to save this. And actually we haven't, previewed this on the front end yet, so let's have a quick look. That looks quite nice. Yeah, that's good. Oh dear, now I know why this has happened here. I know why. So let's go back. Huh? <laughs> What's happened? Let's refresh this. What on earth? 1280. Oh, I see why, because this is reset. Okay, hopefully it doesn't look like that on the front end. Let me just go back and preview it once again. Let's preview properly. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Oh, one thing I wanted to do actually. Yeah, let's go and reset this again. There's something that we didn't do, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just going <laughs> to leave that as it is. Um, yeah, one thing I want to do is I want to add a box shadow. But first of all, I'm going to select the pricing table section background style background. <laughs> okay, I want to change the color to something like F0, F3, F6. So we have like a subtle grayish bluish background here. And then for the actual container, I want to add a box shadow, okay? So let's select the class, 
go to, where are we? Border and box shadow, box shadow. Let's add 0, 0, 40, 25. Let's add a color as well. So I'm going to go, let's start with black. And then, yeah, we want to, oops, crikey. How did I come out of that so quick? Okay, so I want to increase the blur. Spread, maybe we can drop that down as well. And then we can also reduce the transparency as well of the blur. Okay, let's save. Sorry guys, I'm kind of rushing through this because this video has gone on a little bit. So yeah, that looks quite nice, I think. Quite large. Okay, so what else do we need to do? We're kind of nearly there really, so I'm just going to see why there's a little bit of gap here. It's a tiny bit of gap here, isn't there? Um, yeah, and that's because we have the pricing container on the outside and this is the central column is on the inside. So let's increase this to 50 pixels. Here we go, that's better. Okay, so that's all great. Let's go back and have a quick look at our design here. And yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this. Now the next task obviously is to make this responsive. Now what we haven't done is added this little border here. So let's select the, where is it? Let's go to this heading block first. So we can add the border at the bottom of this actually. So let's select the class, come out of layout and go to border and box shadow. The border we want to add to the bottom and this can be two pixels, solid. And then let's also, I don't think we need to change the color here. Let's just save this and see what this looks like on the front end. Yeah, not too bad. It's not exactly the same as this. Give or take some margins and spaces and whatnot. But yeah. Now, the other thing also is the text is slightly darker here. But we can always change that. Let's go back to our editor. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop the transparency down a little bit. So why is that turned red? Let's uh, pick primary white. Yeah, let's drop the transparency down a little bit. Now we can't really see the... Oh, let's go back to gray here and then drop the transparency down like that. Okay, I'm going to save this and have another quick look. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what did I say I wanted to do? Yeah, the, the text color here. So let's start with the heading block. Let's go to typography. Let's reduce the or increase the lightness of the color. So I'm going to select primary and then select the gray. And then maybe go for something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this here very quickly because I don't want to save this color to my palette, but I'm going to apply this to this one here. And let's just select the color and paste the hex code in here. So that's fine. Also these one as well, the pricing table core X color. Yeah, that's better. And I think this one pricing table. Yeah, let's change that as well. Why not? That's much better. And then finally, the pricing table price, which I'm sure has a different class from that one. Yeah, it does. So let's change the text color on this as well. Okay, and you can see how quick I'm working here with the bricks. Once you get used to it, it really is fun to work with. Hang on a minute, why is this not sharing the same class as this one? I'm pretty sure pricing table. Ah, yeah, that's because I forgot to select the class first. Here we go, that's better. Okay, I think we're done. Let me just save this one last time. I think the other thing I wanted to do was to change the height of these blocks here. So let's go to layout, height, here we go. We're gonna use pixels for this or let's try 100% and see what that does. Save. Nope. 100% of what exactly? <laughs> yeah. So let's try pixels. 100 pixels. And then we can just slowly, maybe 92 pixels. Oh, that's better. Okay. And that is looking great. So yeah, the buttons could do with being a little bit larger. But other than that, I think we're pretty much there. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. And I hope that you will give this a try. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just leave everything as it is because it's all fine. Yeah, what I was saying is this isn't responsive at all. If we go over to the uh, responsive breakpoints here, as you can see, it's a pretty uh, big mess. So what we need to do is to go through these breakpoints and make this responsive.
And again, because we're using such a small screen size here, everything looks skew whiff here. Oh, 1280, that's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty skew whiff and weird on, on the, uh, in the editor. But if I right click and then select inspect, let's select our responsive tool here. And then let me just minimize this so we can resize the screen and see what's going on here. The center one is. So yeah, we need to work this out somehow. So for this screen size, we would probably want to go to content and change the layout because I think for the layout on this one, oh no, 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 where are we? We're not selecting the right thing here. Yeah, the container for this screen size is set to horizontal, but for here we probably want to try this one here, uh, vertical, this one here, he says. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then here as well, this looks fine. But let's go back here. <laughs> Look at these, these are funny. Um, we could change the height of these as well on this screen size. And then for here, what we could do is select the pricing table storage block and add a little bit of gap. So we have column gap, but we need to add a row gap. So let's try 20 pixels. That looks pretty cool. In fact, for these one here, we could probably not show them at all. So we could just select it, select the class, go to style, go to layout and come down here to I think it's here. Oh no, it's not here. It's under content, isn't it? So display, we could select this to none. So we just have our, you know, blue one showing that actually looks better on this screen size and this one as well. But yes, it's very easy to go through these and just change the styling here. So this, for example, we have uh, this set in pixels. So we could increase it here for this breakpoint to, I don't know, 120 uh, pixels. And then maybe the same for this one here. Height, 120 pixels. Oh, we could also, what do we want to do? Let's go back to this one a second. Oh, we can't really see things. So we could also, uh, oh, we added this in the wrong place here. We need to select the class first. So here we go, 120 pixels. I'm sure I added the, did I do that with the class? Yeah. So what we could do for this here, let's go to content. We have the class selected. Let's align main axis to the center like so here. So yeah, just tiny small tweaks. And obviously we could make this button bigger and whatnot, perhaps make our heading slightly larger as well. So style, typography, let's go for 50 pixels or something like that. Oops. Yeah. So yeah, it just it takes a little bit of tweaking, but I don't want to dive too deep into this. You should be able to do this for yourself with your pricing table. Okay, so I think we're done here. I'm gonna save this and resize my viewport here. Sorry, my screen resolution here. And this is set to 50 pixels or 50% rather. And I think we're done. So I'm gonna save this. Let's have another quick look on the front end. One last time, resize this. Yeah, it's starting to, to get a bit better, but yeah a few extra tweaking here and there and we would get the responsive layout done and dusted but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial how do i even get out of this now this is oh, here we go yeah yeah i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial sorry for going on a little bit too long but i haven't done a video for a while and um, i want to create a few more design tutorials for you but if you're interested in checking out my bricks builder website design video course and learning to do more things like this and obviously i take things a lot more slow in my course then do check it out. We'll have the link in the description and sign up and we'd love to have you on board and we're here to help you out with getting to grips with designing your website with Bricks Builder. We also have an Oxygen Builder course and we're hoping to add more courses in the future. Okay, this is Fabrizio Van Marciano signing off and until next time, take it easy. Cheers. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section as well and I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button somewhere on the screen and also the notifications bell to get updates of future videos. If you wanna learn more about me, head over to my website at fabriziovanmarciano.com and I'll have a link in the description for my website as well. So that is it from me guys. Until the next video, take it easy and peace. Cheers.